wake up. We will spring forward on Sunday morning, and if you don't get ready now, you may mess up your body's internal clock. Here to explain how a new app can help us is Dr. Sachin Panda from the Salk Institute. Good morning to you. Good morning. So, Doctor, you might have heard us laughing a little earlier <laughs> because we're not we're not fans of the spring forward because we lose that extra hour of sleep. How can this time change throw your body off? Well, every aspect of our body has a peak time uh, to perform. And that's because we have uh, an internal circadian clock or timing system. Mm -hmm. By abruptly changing time twice a year, it throws up that timing system. So that increases our risk for many diseases, starting from obesity, diabetes, depression, heart disease, cancer, and even car accident in the morning. Oh my goodness. Well, it's, it, see, when you say things like this, it makes me wonder, then why do we still have this in place? I, I know that you can't answer that, but so let me ask you this. How can we then minimize the impact of these time changes? Yeah, so one way is to pay attention to our own circadian rhythm, and that means by paying attention to when we eat, when we sleep, and when we exercise. And we can minimize this by um, going to bed a little bit early. And mm -hmm. to do that, you can start eating a little bit earlier, your dinner, and by eating dinner earlier, it helps our body to digest and cool down before we go to bed. Second, we can dim down our lighting in the evening. So by dimming down light, we boost the production of our own sleep hormone melatonin that okay. helps us to go to sleep. And then by advancing our maybe sleep time by an hour before the time change, we can get that good night of sleep that helps our brain to reconnect and to detoxify, and also our, brain, our body hormones help our entire body to repair. So we, we can get up early and get used to the new timing. You, you know, it's funny. I think about the timing of this particular uh, time change. It's, it's Sunday into Monday, so a lot yeah. of people are preparing for the week. But if you think about it, just based on what you've said, you can start tonight, perhaps. Yes. Maybe you start closing down the window, the shades. Yeah. And um, I have blackout curtains because we're so used to trying to get to bed early anyhow because yeah. a lot of us are waking up at 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, our producers here. So, okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, you have a My Circadian Clock app. What, what is this app and how, how is it meant to help us? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, our internal clock tells us when to sleep, when to eat, and when to exercise. And many of us, we don't pay attention. By having <laughs> an app, it helps us. So people can download the app. It's, very, it's free and it's a research app, so that means we don't sell any information. And they can track when they eat, when they sleep, and when they exercise. And at the same time, you also educate all the users how they can personally optimize their timing. Oh. And this app evolved from research over the last 10 to 15 years. It has already been used in many clinical studies all around the world. And we have thousands of users who have shared that data. And by using that data, we can personally optimize everybody's circadian rhythm. And by optimizing, they can reduce the risk for obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular mm. disease, and it helps them to prevent, manage, and even sometimes reverse many of these diseases that affect more than half of the adult population. So does this app alert you? Because like you said, it's, it's yeah. like learning a new habit because we're, lear we're yeah. so used to eating at certain times, but yeah. now if we're trying to change this habit and eat a little earlier, like yeah. you mentioned, is this going to alert you, hey, it's time to eat? Yeah, so it, it's going to, you can set your personal reminder and actually oh. the app will actually teach you how to set that reminder and then it uh, nudges you to eat within that time. And uh, you can also see within very, within few weeks people actually report they are sleeping much better, the oh. acid reflux goes down at night and they feel more energetic. And people might think that if you eat early, you might feel uh, hungry at bedtime. But actually, what is surprising is after a week or two, that hunger goes, to, goes away. I'll tell you what, Doc, and you know this, knowledge is power. <laughs> so sometimes, like you mentioned, we go through our day, we don't think twice about it. But if we're aware of our sleeping habits, of our eating habits, it's going to help us in the long run. And in this case, obviously, with the time change coming up, we will take any help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Panda, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and I hope you get a good night's rest. Yeah, thank you. Have a perfect circadian day. Thank you so much.